Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO World Middleweight Championship, December 19th at the Manchester Arena. Tickets on sale now at frankwarren.com. Or to watch on TV, subscribe at boxnation.com. This is James Holder from Macklin's Gym Marbella in association with IFL TV. With me, I've got Tommy Langford, the WBO Intercontinental Champion. How are you, Tom? I'm good, thanks, mate. I'm not too bad. How are yourself? I'm very well. I'm very well. Got to say, looking very trim. E <laughs> eager to get on the scales tomorrow, no doubt. Yeah, man. Yeah, just want to get on with it now. Like, I've done all the hard work. Weight's there now. So, just uh, looking forward to getting on the scales and beat someone up on Saturday night. How much can you tell me about your opponent on Saturday, Tommy? Um, obviously, he's, he's been over before. We've seen him before. That uh, Robert Sw Sw Swistinski. Uh, he boxed against Eubank Jr. Took Eubank took, took Eubank seven rounds, but in, in fairness, like he dropped him like four or five times. So, you know, in and he's been in with David Lemieux, so a couple of names there. But to be fair, like I should really uh, should should have too much for him. Should do a job on him and get a no nice knockout before Christmas. Is it important to you that you look good in this fight and do a job against these sort of opponents, Tommy? Uh, of course, like I, I should be a level beyond him. Well, I know I know I am. But, and so it's always important to like show it and prove it on the stage. So uh, that adds a little bit of pressure because you, you've got to impress, but at the same time, you've just got to do the job, you know. Getting to the stage now, 2016, we'll hopefully see you in some big, big fights. Do you feel that you've learnt your trade and ready to make that next step up, Tom? Yeah, uh, constantly learning. Learning in the gym, great sparring, working really hard. So I'm always learning, but like... In fairness, if you look at the level of my opposition, look at the level of the opposition of some of the, the, the bigger names out there, they've been in a higher calibre. Uh, you know, I haven't really, uh, we'll see Saturday night, but no one's managed to test me yet, no one's managed to take a round. So I have to get some real tests under my belt and come through them. And then, you know, then we can look at some big fights then. And I'm really excited for that. So yeah, 2016, back in 2016, big fights. Working with Tom Chaney, he's putting a lot of energy and a lot of time into you. How do you think you're progressing under Tom? A dream, working really, really, really well together. Always analysing, always improving. In every, after every fight, there's always things you pick up and always improve on. And then every, every spar, we come out of every spar, and you know there's there's things to improve for the next one and the next one. So we've, we've got a really, I feel we've got a really tight, tight knit team. And uh, obviously, me and Tom work work really well together. He knows me inside out, so it's a. Uh, you know, I can't fault it really, can't fault it. You're on the undercard of Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders this Saturday. How, how do you see the main event playing out, Tommy, if I can ask you that? Um, as the fights got closer, the more the more I'm siding with Billy Joe. I've always predicted Billy Joe to win. Um, but as it's got closer and we've seen how Peter Quillen did against, uh, you know, Daniel Jacobs and obviously Andy Lee went 12 rounds and drew with, with, uh, with Quillen and things like that. So I actually think, you know, Despite Lee being in with, having been in with the bigger names in the sport, the Americans and things, he's not necessarily been in with a, with a better caliber of fighter. Uh, you know, Billy Joe's been with some real tough, strong British, European fighters, and he's come through them all really, really well. And I think that's going to show on Saturday night. And he's going to do a boxing job on Andy Lee, and I expect to win on points. Last but not least, Liam Smith defending his WBO World Crown against Jimmy Kelly. How much do you know about Jimmy Kelly? I know them both really, really well. Like I've done a lot of sparring with Jimmy Kelly in the past, and I sp sparred with uh, Liam Smith in this camp. Um, I, I have to say, like Liam, Liam Smith should should do a job on Jimmy Kelly. Really, uh, I think it's a bit it's a bit too early for Jimmy. Um, he'll come and get like, but uh, um, I think the inexperience will show, and I think you know L Liam Smith will will do will do a good job. But I like I like them both, and I like Jimmy, so I, you know I wish him all the best, really. Birmingham, real hotbed of talent. Can we anticipate seeing you maybe headlining some shows in Birmingham, maybe in 2016? Obviously, I hope so. Do you know what I mean? Re really, uh, really want to. Uh, but like, it's getting the venue for the right size venue and the right fights, and you know, hopefully uh, that can happen. So yeah. Listen, we're just about to start the press conference. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I wish you the best of luck tomorrow Fa uh, on Saturday. See you at the way, no doubt tomorrow. Thank you for talking to IFL TV. Nice one. Cheers, James. Cheers. Nice Thank one. You, Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO World Middleweight Championship, December 19th at the Manchester Arena. Tickets on sale now at frankwarren.com or to watch on TV, subscribe at boxnation.com.